much more of a serious video today. I ask you, what is life? How would you define what exactly life is? Now to give you a better understanding of this particular question, I want you to think deeply. Think of yourself. Picture yourself. Now, picture a chair. What is the difference between the two? It's simple. You are organic matter and the chair is inorganic matter. Those are just technical terms to say that you are living and the chair isn't. But the real question here is, why is that? Now, if we zoom in perfectly, then notice that both you and the chair are made up of the same elemental particles, quarks, leptons, gluons, etc. So, what differentiates you from the chair is called life. Now, this is a very simplified explanation of life to speak of, and I want to dive deeper into the topic. So, is life your brain? That wouldn't be true, because the other the parts other than your brain are also considered living. So perhaps we can find the answer by zooming further into the cells. There is but one thing common to all life forms. The presence of DNA and RNA which carries the genetic instructions further used for the growth and development of the cell. So is DNA life? I would say no to that too because most viruses also happen to have DNA but they are commonly considered non-living. Perhaps we have a better possibility of unrevealing the mysteries of life when we have ruled out some possible candidates. So, I've spent hours and hours studying and researching this topic, and I think I've come to one of the most if not the most accurate explanation of life according to our current knowledge. I'd say life is an or a group of particles that have a standard set of instruction carrying molecules and which can react properly to a particular stimulus given. There are also secondary conditions that it must be able to use energy to do work and increase entropy of the universe during the same process. Now, one of the major conditions would be that it must be able to exist on its own. This is very important and it's also the reason why viruses are not considered living. So, that is what I believe one of the most accurate explanations of organic matter. Do you happen to hold some knowledge that is perhaps even better than mine? Please let me know in the comment section down below. I hope I was able to convey some knowledge about this very mysterious thing. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you people in the next video. And until then, peace out.